It's your girl Sharon once again from my front seat, giving God the praise, honor, and the glory. So yesterday I didn't work, so I didn't post yesterday. And today is Saturday, and I'm just trying to get an early start. So I'm out re to recycle. I thought the recycling place opened at 8, but now that I think about it, it's 8.30. So I'm actually just sitting on the lot here uh, next door at the liquor store lot in my car. Still got the roller carpet, but hey, it's not yet Monday. And um, I have my recyclables here, and I'm going to get my recycling on. But you know what? When I was at home this morning, I said maybe I should do like a Saturday edition this week. But as I'm sitting here, Facebook gave an update. And so did I say this is your girl sharing from my front seat, giving God all the praise, honor, and glory? Bam. Okay. So Facebook does this, you know, like a memory from a year ago. And I don't think I'm going to share the memory itself on Facebook, that post. But uh, one year ago today, I was actually attending the cremation services for my husband. Did I say cremation services? Well, it was a service because it was very serene. Uh, as soon as the hearse door opened, one of the administrators from the crematory says, your loved one, he was a man of faith. And so I thank God for that. Just simply from uh, the hearse door being open and her seeing... Uh, his casket, you know, so that right there did a lot. And um, it was a very peaceful thing. You know, I, I don't know what my view of cremation was. Well, I know what it was. It's from what I've seen on television and what I envision it to be. But it was nothing like it. Uh, the persons there at the crematory, they explained everything. And these weren't like administrators explaining it. These were the actual employees who went through, you know, who handled everything. And um, from that last final kiss, touch, you know, uh, view to um, my husband's casket being placed in the, um, I guess it would be called an oven. I don't know the technical term, but it was an oven. Just from the door being closed to just every step of the process. There's a one button you push, there's a second button you push, there's a third button you push. And um, God allowed me to be there and take part in it. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, again, it was very peaceful. And um, so lovingly, the doors were closed. Yeah. Because Adina actually pushed the button to close the door. Um, lovingly. Um, buttons for step one, step two, and step three were pushed. And there were four of us there. Um, it was Di Adina, Marvelette, Spencer, and myself. And we all just put our hands, you know, together to push the buttons and I made a vow that I would um, love John to the end. I made a vow to walk with him uh, to the end and that final process I would not have had in any other way. I wanted to attend and when I was told that I could, I did. And um, it was worth, you know, every penny to witness it. So um, that's what I was doing a year ago today. And it's funny because my husband, he's the one who recycled and I've been trying to keep it up, you know, along the way when I see recyclables, like there's one in that liquor store trash can, I put it in the trunk and, um, you know, I have a certain mission or ministry that I use that for, but those in the house, um, yeah, I guess it'll be money in my pocket. It's probably about three, four dollars. I don't know. But that's what I'm doing today. Just waiting for the recycling uh, spot to open so that uh, 
yeah, I can get busy with my day. There, It is a part of my day. So I'm just sort of losing my thought. But I'm going to get out of this car soon and go recycle. Then I'm going to go home and get cleaned up and get ready for the day. Um, we're having our... Uh, Christmas party and toy giveaway at the church today. So maybe I'll post some pictures from that a little later. Uh, I love you. God bless you. This is your girl Sharon once again from my front seat. Uh, just remembering Brother John. And uh, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>